Okay. Well, Aries, the overall energy of your reading is right here, the Four of Wands. Wow. This is a soulmate connection. It's a very special and divine soulmate connection. Might be Twin Flame. Might have to have more evidence. But, 1111. This is a union of two people with joy and happiness. This is actually a card of marriage. It's surrounding your whole reading. So let's find out why. Up here in your highest energy is the lover's divine soulmate connection and still possibly twin flame. You've known this person, whoever it is we're talking about, uh, from uh, other lives or at least one other life where you were lovers before. The connection is strong between you and whoever we're talking about here. This is the card for Gemini. So Gemini might be strong in your chart, might be strong in someone else's chart around this reading. And then I have the Five of Swords right next to the Lover's card. So the Five of Swords tells me that you're taking a hard look at them. It's like, should you move forward with them or should you move forward on your own? Uh, the Five of Swords, having all these swords, it's like you have some sort of truth and clarity uh, that you are getting about this situation. This card, the Five of Swords, is right under the Four of Wands. Now, this there's a couple things that could be going on so far. It could be that you're looking back at a marriage. Uh, you could be looking back at a spouse that um, you had a very strong connection with, not forgetting about them. Uh, you also can be looking back at someone you uh, plan on having a marriage or uh, a stable, secure, long-lasting relationship with. It could be someone from your past. It could be someone from your present. So I need to keep reading. Right next to the Five of Swords is the Magician. I think you're manifesting this person... Uh, maybe to come back. It feels like they're not near you at the moment. But I think by all this looking back at them, um, not being able to take your mind off of them. And don't forget, this is a very strong connection here. Um, we have the infinity symbol above the magician's head. This is the symbol of knowing and intuition. The magician is actually a manifester. Um, you have all the tools to make this happen if you want it. If you want it, that's the key. And you are thinking about it. you got the cup a love. you got the pentacle. You have the wand of new beginnings. And you have the sword of truth and clarity. Under the lover's card, the seven of pentacles. This is time ticking away. You know, this is, this is like waiting for something to come to fruition. So perhaps there's either been a lot of time between this relationship or you've been waiting for it to come to fruition, for this particular relationship to turn into something more permanent, uh, grounded, long-lasting, with lots of love and joy. So it's a kind of a humdrum energy, you know, waiting and waiting and waiting. So... Like I say, it could be years or months since you've seen them, maybe even weeks. Or it could be that you just, um, you know, I feel like you're manifesting, I really do, because a magician is here, and you're not taking your eyes off those pentacles. You're still waiting. You're still waiting for the security, the stability, and groundedness to blossom in this relationship. So, somebody from the past or present, I'm still not sure. On the other side of the Four of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, looking for that pentacle, all right. Looking for the security and the stability. You have it, but you need it offered to you in order to have this Four of Wands. Because you can't have the Four of Wands without security and stability. You can have all this love and all this joy, but it also includes a permanent type relationship, a union of two people. So, that's the main thing that you're trying to manifest in here. 
Plus, I think you're trying to manifest them to come back or at least to turn around and see you, you know, to listen to the truth, to listen to the clarity, to pay attention to what is right in front of them. Under the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. Oh boy, you're getting tired of waiting. You're getting all worn out. You're feeling like maybe this isn't ever going to happen here. You're at your wit's end. Hmm. Let's read on. Next to the Nine of Wands, under the Four of Wands is the Strength card. Again, we have that infinity symbol. The symbol of knowing and intuition. This tells me you know what you need to do. And whatever it is, it's going to take a lot of strength to do it from within. This is the card for Leo. Might be strong in your chart. Might be strong in someone else's chart. It's right under the Four of Wands. This is going to take strength. Um, <clears throat> if you want to manifest this, you can. Um, let, let me just read on. I have a whole other half of this reading to go. Next to the Strength card is the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is under the Page of Pentacles. Now, whoever you're looking back at might be one of those that maybe are not in your life now. And you're looking back at them, you're expecting them to return because they run in and out of your life. But you want this relationship to unite. You want this relationship to, to like seal and, and come together. Because right now it feels like it's just not together. It's, it, there's a possibility for it. You are divine soulmates. I think it's the other person who doesn't quite uh, get it yet. And that's why you're waiting and waiting and you're getting ready to just, oh my gosh. <laughs> I think you're going to manifest it. I really do. I think this is what you want and you're going to get it. It's coming in. So, um, the Queen of Cups. In your highest energy line here. The Queen of Cups, uh, yeah, having questions about love. I mean, it's like, do they have the same feelings for me that I have for them? Um, you know, how, how are my feelings? Do I really, am I really in love with this person? Do I really want, like I said before, if you want to manifest it, you can, okay? I have a feeling this other person uh, also, they might have fire in their chart, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Someplace, moon or rising, it might even be their primary sign. But the Queen of Cups, trying to peek in those windows on the lid on that cup, trying to get answers to your questions. Male or female, this is possible water energy, I should point out. Uh, that would be uh, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Might be strong in your chart, or strong in their chart, or around this reading. Next to the Queen of Cups is the Empress. Whoa. Okay, so the Empress, if you're a parent, male or female, you're a good parent. The Empress is, and it's up on your highest energy line. These are qualities that you have as a person. Oh my God, you, this is a twin flame relationship. I just noticed, okay. Okay, and I will point, point out why I know that. In a moment, in a, in a few cards here. So um, the Empress um, has beautiful qualities. Loving, um, kind and generous and thoughtful. And I mean, I can go on and on with these wonderful qualities that most people should have. A lot don't, okay? But you have a lot of beautiful qualities as being a person, male or female. Could signify pregnancy sometimes with the Empress here. But this is who you are. And it's right next to the Two of Pentacles. Oh, also, I'm sorry, the card for one of the cards for Libra. Might be in your chart, might be in their chart someplace, okay? Or around the reading. Then we have the Two of Pentacles here, right next to the Empress. You're confused. I mean, it's like one day, it's like, uh, you know, you could spend the rest of your life with them forever and ever. And the next day, you're like, like, forget it. You know, I'm done with this relationship. Because, see, you've got the Seven of Pentacles here. You're getting tired. you got the Nine of Wands. You're tired of waiting for this relationship to come to fruition is what it is. Um, but you can manifest it. And you are manifesting you, you definitely are manifesting, and I can see why. 
in the second half of the reading. So right now you're in this state of uh, the security and the stability. Remember the Page of Pentacles? Looking at that pentacle over here waiting for it to come to fruition. You're just up and down and all over the place. Th those waters back here are really shaky and they're, they're just bobbing those ships all over the ocean here. So like I say, you know, you're up and down and all around in your thoughts about this relationship. But I think you love them. Him or her. I said M E M. I think you love them. Under the Queen of Cups is the King of Wands. Now, I first I thought this was your energy. Um, still can have some of it, but then the, the Emperor came out, which is your card. And then down here we have the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands, remember this energy? It's like they run in and out and you're like, when are they coming back? When is this, you know, are we really going to have a relationship going here? Um, this uh, very special person in your life is growing up, it looks like. They're changing. So I think they're changing. And you're, well, the reason I'm saying that is a magician is pointing right to the King of Wands. You're manifesting the King of Wands. You're manifesting this energy to change into this energy. Wonderful. So that means they're becoming more stable. They're becoming more secure. And most importantly, this wand that they carry is actually a wand of new beginnings and fresh starts. That might be why maybe they're taking their time to return this time because it, it feels that way. Is they're up in their head maybe about figuring out this relationship and what they want to do, how they want to move forward. They do. They are going to want to move forward. And I think you're really manifesting this. This is the card for Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius might be in their chart someplace. Again, might be, we know your Aries uh, might be around this reading. So some strong fire energy going on here. Under the Empress and next to the King of Wands is the Emperor. The Empress and the Emperor. There's your twin flame relationship right there. This is, like I said, you have the Four of Wands. You have the, the Lovers. And there's, a, there's another card coming up here, which is pretty important. Two, couple. There's a lot. <laughs> They're really important. Um, the Empress. Okay, this is like the Twin Flame. It's like you're cut from the same cloth. The Emperor. These are all male or female cards. The Emperor now can be pretty kind of stubborn, a little bit on the stubborn side. Uh, they can be a little rigid in their thinking. Uh, it's really hard to change your minds once, those, once their minds are made up. Uh, they kind of like to be the leader. They like things to be their idea. Uh, they're very well liked and respected by others. Right next to the King of Wands, I think this is the same type of energy. This King of Wands here has that staff of new beginnings. This King of Wands has come from the Knight of Wands, growing up. This is your card, but I feel like it's their energy. It's right under the Empress. It's your card, but I think it's their energy. And the Emperor is sitting <laughs> right next to the Hierophant. Now, okay. Remember, marriage, joy, you know, getting committed, that pentacle. The Hierophant, this is the card for Taurus. This is Earth. Uh, so Taurus might be strong in your chart, might be in their chart someplace. But the Hierophant, the energy is about traditional values and morals. This is about security, stability. This is about marriage. It's very spiritual. So your overall energy is about marriage. And then we have the Knight of Wands changing to the King of Wands because you're manifesting that to happen. And um, becoming the Emperor. And really, I think they're realizing that they, that you are their twin flame, at least a soulmate. But they're, your twin flames are cut from the same cloth. This is like a, oh, it doesn't even happen. I don't know how many times through the lifetimes that you have. Okay, it's very, really rare to come across your twin flame and stay together. Because a lot of times, uh, the twin flames don't come together. Because they're cut from the same cloth. And they just butt heads and butt heads and it doesn't work out. But... In this situation, I definitely see it working out. When they come back with that staff and new beginnings, they're coming back with security and stability in mind, the Hierophant. 
Um, in the meantime, you're just confused on what's going on here. Under the under the king of wands, you're confused. One day it's like, I would marry them, stay together, just like I said before, forever. And the next day you're like, oh, screw them, you know. I, I, I hope they never show up, you know. You're just all over because I really think they're taking their time on coming back this time. So close to that knight of wands and under the king of wands. This, this is who they are. So for one reason, they were the knight of wands running in and out of your life. Um, this nine of pentacles, this is earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but this is about being happily single and stable and secure in themselves. Now, this is something I don't think they wanted to give up. Their independence. Okay. And it's right under the king of wands. Well, the king of wands, it's like, they're keeping their independence, and they've decided, hey, I can come forward. I can start a new life. I can move forward with uh, this empress over here, with this lover that I have. Uh, they definitely have feelings for you, um, and still maintain themselves. And what's happening in under the emperor and next to this nine of pentacles, I have the will of fortune. Wow. The Wheel of Fortune is just grabbing hold of them. Okay, remember I said this Emperor is their energy? So is the Nine of Pentacles. This Wheel of Fortune is grabbing a hold of them. And it's it's like pulling them and pushing them, whispering in their ear, nudging them on the back for the better, for the fortune of this relationship, right towards the Ace of Pentacles. And that Ace of Pentacles is right under the Hierophant. That is the ring, so to speak. That is the commitment. That is the offer being handed to you. So I feel I feel this reading here is just so awesome. Um, Aries, this is your reading. This is a fantastic um, reading. I know you're in a place now of like what to do. You're about ready to give up. But it looks like this person is coming back in more mature and ready to start a new life with you. Good Lord.